Hi, welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson. This week, I join you from Davos, Switzerland for the World Economic Forum meetings. You know, the Davos meetings has historically been a place where world leaders, business leaders, uh, nonprofits all meet together to discuss the most pressing global issues. And this year, the issues seemingly could not be more pressing from uh, the China lockdown to the invasion of the Ukraine to the growing global shortage of food that is causing a crisis in several countries and, of course, inflation hitting Main Street here in the United States. Uh, the challenges are everywhere, seemingly. But the promise of the Davos meetings has always been that global cooperation could actually help resolve some of these key issues. So for this week's Main Street Macro, I'm going to talk about globalization and I'm going to talk to you about the promise the perils and the possibilities of globalization. Let's start with the promise. The promise of globalization has always been that spreading technologies and advancements around the world would lead to a greater standard of living, both for poor countries and for rich countries, actually narrowing inequality and increasing wealth for everyone. But that didn't always happen. And in fact, during the pandemic, we've seen huge differences in access to vaccines, help, wealth, credit, uh, that's led to growing concerns of inequality. So that leads us to the perils of globalization. You see, there is no one size fits all. Uh, we've seen wages uh, stagnate in some countries. We've seen competition drive political decision making. We've seen uh, a backlash, frankly, of globalization as the world tries to onshore more of its production in the face of supply chain shortages and bottlenecks. Uh, we've seen uh, more countries saying that they want to be self-sufficient in terms of energy and other key goods. And so there is a real question about whether a deglobalization trend is underfoot. Well, for the third reason, I would argue no. There are possibilities in globalization. You see, it's not just about extremes where we uh, lead globalization in the sacrifice of domestic concerns and domestic issues. It's about smart globalization. And I think that's where uh, globalization has its greatest value, that we, we focus on global issues cooperatively, but we don't lose sight the importance of local economic issues and values when determining that cooperation. Uh, that is the promise uh, that can evolve into a real possibility, not just around the world, but for Main Street. Thanks for watching this episode of the Main Street Macro. For more information on the week ahead, please go to adpri.org.